All right, Mark and Angie not going out even on a first date. Mark thought, hey, I want to do something different. I'm going to ask Angie out on the radio. I said, cool, we got you, but you got to be cool with whatever she has to say. I don't think he liked what she had to say, and I do think this would have got worse and worse and worse for Mark. Uh, check it out. Let us know what you think. It's a 715 second date update. Right now, we're trying to help out Mark on the 715 second date update. Mark said this. I want your guys' help to ask Angie out on a first date. They have not been on a date yet. Okay, so they've talked to each other via Tinder, but they have not been on an official date yet. So we said, all right, dude, if you're cool with whatever she has to say, we will give her a call. Yeah, we've mm -hmm. done this before. Uh, yeah. yeah. I, I don't know. I, yeah, there's got to be something going on, though, because he's, I mean, she doesn't want to go out with them. So. She's not made plans, but he still feels like he's being strung along. So there's got to be something going on here. All right. Uh, Kevin, yep. he's got Angie on hold for us. So we're going to bring her back on right now. Good morning, Angie. You there? Good morning. Uh, how you doing? I'm good. How are you? Good. Uh, did Kevin kind of give you a, a rundown of what we wanted to talk to you about? Um, he just said you wanted to talk to me on air about something. Yeah, we, we're going to be on the air. Is that okay? Yeah, I, yeah, I guess. <laughs> All right. Well, I appreciate that. Well, here's the deal. We actually want to talk to you about a guy who's very interested in you, had a lot of nice things to say about you, and he kind of wants to ask you out on a first date. Do you think you know who we're talking about? Mm, not really. Oh, well, oh, wow. right. well, we're actually talking about Mark. You guys met on Tinder. He said you guys have been messaging back and forth, um, even exchanged some texts. And I guess he's throwing out some ideas of maybe hanging out. And he kind of just feels like you're giving him the runaround. He doesn't know what's going on. So, I mean, first of all, would you be interested in going on a date? And if so, why haven't you kind of confirmed something with him? Uh, this is ridiculous. Now he's enlisting the help of a radio station. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, he is. <laughs> What? What's going on yeah. with him? Why don't you go out with well, him? Well, he doesn't want to put any effort into, like, a first date. He wanted to take me out for ice cream, like Tabasco Robbins. Oh, I like ice cream. It's hot out. Men don't put any effort into the first date. Like, women, we get, you know, we get a, a special outfit. We get our nails done. You know, we put makeup on. We, you know, we do all this work we and do. everything. And I just feel like men don't, he's not putting, he doesn't want to put any effort in. And now, like, he needs somebody else to help him put his effort in, like a radio <laughs> station. I mean. Well, what are you, I mean, what are you looking for? I mean, you're looking for some big plans, like a, a whole well, like evening planned? Planned, you know, a little nicer. It's a first date. You want to make a good impression, you know. I feel like you need somebody to hold his hand in order to take me out on a date. I mean, I don't, I'm, I'm not really into that. <laughs> Horse and carriage ride, maybe through downtown St. Pete, and then you can stop at a restaurant. Do they do and, that? Yeah. Oh, yeah, they, I mean, used, I, they used to. I don't know if they still are doing it. Angie, so do you not think that he's putting any effort in by calling us? Because, I mean, I feel like that's putting himself out there and putting some effort in, right? Yeah, but, I mean, I feel like he couldn't do it on his own. Like, people like this, you know, they don't put any effort into the first date to make a good impression, and then... The same guys are not going to put any effort into the relationship down the road. And then I'm going to end up carrying the whole relationship, making all the efforts, doing all the work. And I don't, I really don't want anything to do with that. I don't want those kind of guys. Okay. Interesting uh, way of looking at well, it. Well, yes. I mean, Angie, we actually have Mark on the phone. I want to bring him. That's obviously how we got your number. Mark, you there? Yeah, I'm here. I don't know what to say. I, I just thought maybe we could, you know, just get to know each other on the first date because it's tender and... You know, you're not going to take everybody out to the opera. So uh, I thought, like, you know, I thought ice cream on a hot day would be nice and fun. And, we, you know, we'd just get to know each other. You know? Well, there you go. I mean, you're like, it's just Tinder. I'm not going to take you to the opera. Like, I want somebody who's going to treat me like I deserve to be taken to the opera and not just out for ice cream just because of Tinder. Uh, you know, you, you're I'm really not, giving yeah, I'm guys not saying a, eventually, you guys eventually. a bad name. <laughs> and now it's time for you to step up to the plate, you know. And by the way, I am way too beautiful to be taken out just for ice cream. I mean, come on. Well, Angie, I think Mark's okay. approach here on this was to keep it casual and not to put any pressure on you guys, like as far as like a first date of a real fancy dinner or something like that. I think that was his thinking. I mean, if you... Yeah, I think that sounds like a crazy person would do. You know, the first oh. date, he's like, hey, let's go. I don't know you, but let's do this uh, big, big thing. I don't know. I think Mark, that right? sounds crazier to me. <laughs> Women, like I said, put all this effort in for dating and looking good and all this and that. And 
if you don't want to put the effort in or you need help putting the effort in, you know, you're not going to put that effort in down the road in a relationship. Mm -hmm. I'm I'm not interested in that at all. It's a big assumption. Why don't you just take her somewhere nicer? Yeah, I mean, would you be willing if he wanted to take you somewhere nicer, Angie? Would you be willing for you know willing to do that? Not really. I mean, I'm oh. just I'm over it at this point. I mean, <laughs> just not the kind of guy I'm looking for. Yeah, and maybe it's not even just a nicer restaurant. It's more she just wants a plan. Yeah, he had a plan to go get ice cream, but I want, that wasn't I want a man with a plan. So <laughs> all right, I I, I can okay. see where she's kind of coming right. from. I well, get it. Well, listen, Angie. Um, I thank you for your time, um, giving us your honest opinion, uh, and I and I wish you luck. Thanks a lot. All right, thank you. All Sorry, right. Mark, you still there? Yeah. Yeah, yeah, dude, that, that, that's that's very high maintenance. Uh, <laughs> I'm sorry, wow. but like, he, I mean, you're putting an effort in to do something. She could have said, "Hey, well, let's go do something nicer or whatever." He was trying to make plans. So, did you hear that? Did you hear what just buzzed by? What I was that? The bullet I dodged. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> I got well, I'm glad you're feeling better about it, Mark. <laughs> hey, Mark, I'm sorry it didn't work out, man, but I'm glad that you're uh, feeling like you uh, you ended up on the right side of things. Okay. Yeah. Thanks, guys. I appreciate the effort. All right, man. Take care.